Oh well, that's all right, Skelly. Take a nice, much needed 10 to 15 minute break. Have a cookie, maybe some milk. All right, guys, today we are in Mobile, Alabama. I think that's how you say it. It might just be mobile, but I think it's Mobile. We are on Airport Boulevard going to this Spirit Halloween in an old Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave. There are actually three spirits in this area that I'm gonna try to get to today, but isn't this funny? This is in an old Bed Bath and Beyond, and just like the other one we were at, right down here, is an abandoned H.H. Gregg. What in the heck? All right, this is a pretty busy area, guys. So I'm gonna go ahead over here. Look at that ginormous sign on those shiny tiles up there. Let's go ahead in and see what we can find in this location. All right, Mobile, Alabama, location number one. Thank you, automatic doors. All right, guys, before we look at anything else, look at this. This is only the second store that I have seen these plush guys in. If you remember, I bought the SpongeBob. I bought the Freddy Krueger. I did not buy, I don't even know if I saw the Beetlejuice. That's, I probably did because I remember going like this with his head to make his hair all shaggy. But look at this. We also have, oh, if I can keep from dropping them, we also have Sonic. We have Pennywise back here. And look, we have the Wolfman. How cool is that? I don't know why these are only showing up in a couple of stores. Maybe they're like not supposed to be here and they were accidentally delivered. What in the world just happened in the store? And look at this, this is something else I've been looking for, but guys, everywhere, the universal figural bag clips with Michael Myers and Chucky, as well as others. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to count these, hold on. All right, there are 13 in there, so it is not a full case. What the heck? I'll have to ask him if they have a full untouched case because I don't want to just go buying 10 of them there and then have to buy a few more because I know I'm not going to get the entire collection. Anyway, here's a Pennywise hairbrush. What the heck? <laughs> that is too funny. Like what a random thing to have Pennywise on, a hairbrush. All right, let's come back up to the front here, guys, and say hello to these two buddies. We got the Possessed Pumpkin and we got Lord Raven. Yes, today I'm only going to call him Lord Raven. Hello, sir. And apparently he doesn't work, so okay, let's move on to the possessed pumpkin. Come on, Mr. Possessy. Here we go. You will make excellent fertilizer. He's not moving. How can you catch me if you're not even moving? All right, on to the spooky tunnel of death, and let's go see Grim because he's already moving here. Hello, Grim. I want to buy Grimm more than ever now since I've been seeing him dressed up in stores. Let's check out the bog zombie. We have to see all these in every store we come into, guys. Some people are like, why do you look at the same stuff over and over and over? Because we're going into the same store that has the same stuff over and over and over. That's the basic answer. Plus, tell me it's not fun to see this guy every day of the week. All right, let's go through the tunnel. Do we have, yes, we have the bubbles of death in all four corners here, all four tubes. It blows me away that these are actually glass. I'm pretty dang sure that these are actually glass instead of just like plexiglass or something. Look at this, they actually have the Sam inflatable blown up in here in place of Crouchy. How cool is that? And look how huge his head is, like compared to my hand. Oh my gosh, he's a lot bigger than I thought he was, and he has the pumpkin down there and the sucker. Oh, and we have Barry over here. You never know who you're gonna see when you come in these tunnels. Just like this guy over here, solid proof that it's going to be interesting. Anyway, that's working up there, but apparently Barry is not, except for his eyes. And he's like making a strange squealing sound. Maybe he has laryngitis. We do have Shorty out here, and he does not have laryngitis. And he also does not have his gloves on. And we also have half a head over here, Mr. Punchy. Let's see if we can get him going. He's got those enormous hands. Okay, here we go. I'm a clown, just spinning around. You're a fool who's going down. 
<laughs> bad words, bad words. All right, let's come over and visit Monty, but first we're gonna take a look at this Scream stuff because look what they have, guys. They have the purple and the blue and the white. Do they have, do they have, they have the red and they have the chrome all the way down there in the form of a costume. All right, let's see if we can get Monty going here. Come on, Monty, do your stuff. Do your stuff. Well, he's doing part of his stuff. <laughs> All right, Monty, thanks for saying hello. I feel like Eeyore from Winnie the Pooh. Thanks for saying hello. We have a gigantic sandworm groundbreaker. Every store we go into is pretty well stocked with the side steppers now. We got Slims up here, we got Spikies, we got Pennywise, and we have Sam. We got Lucky Bottoms over here going crazy, and guys, let me tell you, you've got to go check out this channel. I'll put a link below. It's called Wicked Makers. They did a complete makeover of Lucky Bottoms and turned him into Pennywise from the movie It. It is amazing. Let's say hello to Nazi over here. All right, Nazi, how are you doing? Nazi? Nazi, there you go. <laughs> I didn't think he was going to work for a minute there. All I can ever think about when I see him is that giant jalapeno nose. We have the deadly creeper over here with his tentacles going crazy. Okay, maybe they're not necessarily going crazy, but they are moving enough where they would kill you when he grabs you and injects you with his venom. All right, we got Betty and we got Skelly over here. Which one does this foot pad go to? Let's find out. Oh, it's Betty. Just stick your head in. Stick my head in that bag? No way! I wonder if this one goes to Skelly then. Let's try it. Is he making sounds? Is he lighting up? No. He's not doing anything. He must not be working. Oh well, that's all right, Skelly. Take a nice, much needed 10 to 15 minute break. Have a cookie, maybe some milk. Meanwhile, I'll talk to this evil thing over here. I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Just turn your head. Spin it around. I don't want to hear the evil. There we go. <laughs> okay, good enough. Strange. I don't recall seeing any animatronics on the floor for sale in here, except for this very small pile right here where we have a nozzles. We got a whole bunch of stuffed dummy props and Posen Stay skeletons, as well as the Sinister Spirit doll. And guys, I actually just watched the Spirit Halloween movie last night, and I believe this was the doll that's standing in the middle of the floor when the guys walk out and they're like, wait a minute, was that right there just a minute ago? The movie was awesome. Make sure you watch it. Look at this. We got a couple of fogging skull piles here. Let's take a look at the creepy dolls. We have a pumpkin nester and a decrepit haunted doll. We have some eerie Emmas. We have some Rosalies and two hugs dolls on the bottom right next to our favorites, the zombie babies. And guys, wait till you see what zombie baby they coincidentally put on screen in the new movie. Is it one of these? No. Is it one I talk about all the time? Yes. I'm sorry you didn't get to be in the movie, Mr. Spider Biter. I do believe Ruby was in a couple of shots though, but this guy never gets any attention. It's so unfair. Somebody come down here and adopt this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy and this guy. And I think I've said this before. I'm not a huge Iron Maiden fan, but this mask is an awesome mask. It's made so well. I'm pretty sure I saw this guy in the movie too. Let's drop some stickers. Do they have any animatronics up here for sale? Very strange to be in a store that has them all set up and doesn't have any for sale. Wow, that is kind of crazy. They must just be totally sold out. We are getting closer to Halloween after all. They're not sold out of these guys, though. They have a whole bunch of plush. Look at this. We have the Beetlejuice. I love that green hair. We have Lydia with her camera. We have Adam. We have Crouchy. We have Skelly Bones. I bought both of these the other day, and I'm so glad I did. We also have the Sandworm. Look, we got one, two, three Sandworms. Oh, we got some Barbaras down here as well. And we have Oogie Boogie over here. I've seen him in the past couple stores, but not the green one. 
All right, let's see. Are there any fleece blankets here that we have not seen yet? I'm pretty sure we have seen all of these. They do have the Nightcrawler up there. And I'm pretty sure I just saw Crouchy here somewhere. Yeah, they got Crouchy right over here. We got a couple of Killer Clowns inflatables here, as well as the Sam Greeters, the Chucky Greeters, the Sam Inflatable, and the Ghost Face Inflatable. Wait a minute, this store goes back a little bit yet. I guess we're not done. Maybe there's some stuff back here. In the one store in Tallahassee, there was like a little cove that had all the good stuff. Well, here's a cove. But I'm not seeing anything more than what I expected. Just costumes and uh, no other inflatables. That is really, really surprising. All right, hold on. We haven't gone through the tunnel of electrical death yet. It's just working pretty, oh, look at this. Every time I go through and I say it's working pretty good, it stops working. Maybe it's haunted, let's, it must be. <laughs> It stopped working as soon as I said it was haunted. If you are truly haunted, stop electrifying my face. All right, guys, that's it for location number one in Mobile, Alabama, in the old Bed Bath and Beyond the Grave.